But let's talk football. The stars aligning for the 4-1 and one Cowboys. And let me tell you, the offense is humming right along. They've scored 170 points this season. They're most through five games since 2007. And Dak, well, he's picked up right where he left off last year. Run game as well, surging. Dallas leads the NFL in rush yards and yards per rush during their four-game win streak. But, but here's the thing. The biggest surprise is on D. The Cowboys are the only team that ranks in the top seven in offense and defensive efficiency this year. Corner Trayvon Diggs has six interceptions. Now, you talk about a team that's just really killing it. According to our football power index, they are only two games that the Cowboys are not favored in the rest of the season. Week 11 at the Chiefs, week 13 at the Saints. Dallas currently has a 94% chance to make the playoffs, according to FPI. So I'm not so good at math, but I think that puts them, if that all works out, at 14-3 and three for the season. I think that's right. I think. Let's bring in our guys, Nico, Jeff Darlington, Dominique here with us. And, and look, Nick, I'll ask you first. Can the Cowboys maintain this hot start? I don't see why not. I think one of the important things that we talk about often when we talk about the Cowboys is – that division. So they have mm. what looks like six easy-ish games going forward. So that'll be nice. And then you compound that by the fact that they have one of the best quarterbacks in the league. If you have a great quarterback and a defense that is getting better every week, and if it stays as good as it is right now, if they're able to maintain these turnovers, which I'm not sure they will be able to do, but if they're able to at least play close to that level, the combination of the way Dak is making decisions, the way Dak is throwing the ball, the way this defense is playing, I don't see any reason why they can't win the NFL and continue and maybe even reach that 14 win mark that you just set Ooh, for them. 14 wins. Imagine that. Yeah, it sounded what, crazy when it came out my mind. It, it does. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible when you think about the Cowboys and where we thought this defense would be. But, Ninko, one of the reasons why we want to talk about this was Nick mentioned in the meeting, yeah, there's always that team every year that starts out hot and fades down the stretch. Could this be the Cowboys this year or, or will they not fade? I just want to clarify the Nink and Nink, Nink and Ninko thing. Sometimes I'm listening. It's whoa, whoa, yeah. Yeah, this is tough. That's for you, right Ninko. Here. You're right. I gotta, I gotta no, work no. on my vowels. <laughs> I, I mean, don't think. Alike, too. I, don't I can think see how people slowing. get us confused. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think – I do not think that they're going to slow down. And you look at – they're on pace to have a quarterback to throw for over 4,500 yards. They're on pace to have two running backs run for over 1,000 yards. And they're on pace to have two receivers receive for over 1,000 yards. Then they have a defense that's, that's clicking right now. So I don't think that I see them slowing down because we all know that this league starts and ends with the quarterback. I do not see Dak slowing down. And the quarterback has been dealing. So Jeff Darlington, I think he can hear me. Uh, we know Jeff Darlington. Jeff, are the Cowboys Super Bowl contenders? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, there's no reason to think otherwise right now. Because like you said, it's not that this team it feels like just a hot start where they'll start to fade. This feels like one of the more consistently uh, capable teams in the NFL right now. I, I would put them right up there with a lot of these other teams, especially in the NFC. Now, do they have a ways to go before they are truly a Super Bowl contender? Yeah, but so does every other team in the NFL. The one thing that I go back to, though, is I felt like I said this during the preseason, too. Dak Prescott not only helps the offense with his return, but also the defense. He's one of the best in the NFL at sustaining drives, keeping the offense on mm. the field. And him doing that allows the defense to get the rest that they need so that they're in the best situation to succeed as well. Dak Prescott changes everything for the Dallas Cowboys. We have said it time and again, so as Dak goes, so go these Cowboys. And that is especially true, it seems, of this year. All right, we'll talk more about this in the next.